Mr. Fire. Yes. <laughs> Just to know. That's good, brother. When you hear when you hear the zapping, you know some people dead. Yeah. <laughs> Work a little bit dark too, so now is their chance, right, to sneak up on me in the shadows, but well equipped, you know. Yeah, man. Always. Always. Where's where's your since I'm in my red chair, where's um where's your red chair? Red chair the right, yes, man. Hold on then all. Yeah. See that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the scenes. Always looks funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. So, What's up, so my brother Muscle? I'm man, big, 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 big weekend again, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah. Let me adjust this. Let me adjust this one minute. Bring it down yeah, man. Here. Okay, good. Yeah, no. Trust me. I just the funny thing with it. I, as I told you earlier, I didn't actually get a chance to. Mr. Fire is freezing there. Check. Check the phone, see if it's me. Hold on, we're gonna see if it's while she freezing or if I'm the one freezing, but I know right. Sorry about that. I had to actually switch to the other Wi Fi. Got so, you. Because yeah. yeah. I realized I was like, oh, no, no, no. What? Put up your info, let me pin it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys, you can always follow me, but if you want more on the sound clash that we're gonna talk about, follow. At soundclash.com, people. Yes. Proper. Yeah, man. Hold on. Got you pinned it. Yeah. Boom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as I said, Sunday, I didn't get a chance to catch it live, but I caught the replay today and listen to me. Yeah, listen man. Me. <laughs> you know what? I, I got to once again say, you know, Mattia really like. We had a conversation the other day, and he really framed it. And he was yeah. like, yo, like, yo, a sound from Israel clashed a sound from Panama. <laughs> you know, and it's really when you hear it like that, that you're like, man, something really different happened. Something really special happened, you know. Yeah, and, sure. you know, a lot of people, and a lot of people, sorry to cut you off, but a lot of emotions mm -hmm. I don't think I've really seen this much emotion, a lot of emotions on this last clash, man. A lot of people either very angry or very happy. And again, you know, it's one of those things where that to me is my biggest, um, my personal biggest yeah. accomplishment, you know, knowing that people could be that invested or interested in something that's not really a clash, just an online thing, you know? It's just like this thing that we're doing because we're locked up in the house and people could be so invested that they go and attack each other and say <laughs> really mean things and, you know what I'm saying? But it's love, man, and so we just give thanks, you know? It was India versus Panama until Cheeky had to say, nah, man, it's not that serious. It's more music, or when we're done, we're going to be back to normal. You know what I mean? Right, yeah, man. But I still think the breakaway star from this is going to be the India uh, sound system, just because yeah. that is truly something that no one ever, ever, ever seen before. And he played with mm -hmm. class yeah. and style, and I think that that's, that's not the last you're going to see of him, you know? Yeah, no, definitely. Because when you when you look at it, it was a wicked war, but it was almost like Delhi was playing more downbeat Radigan style versus yeah, almost like a Matarani Fire Linksy type or that type of style. That's what it was it was two different styles. They're both playing good, you know, for what they were doing. Yeah. But it's like what I found was um Cheeky Dubs, like he again, just like um mystical use. From he started the energy, he just started at the top and just continued banging, banging, banging. Mm. Big yeah, yeah, yeah. Delhi you can tell that he, he juggles like, you know? Cheeky. Yeah. Yeah. But like I said, man, it's a blessing. And, you know, people really enjoy the style that they enjoy. And so if you're into the roots and yeah. you're into the history, then, you know, Base Foundation was your guy. 
Um, but if you're into the vibes and you like the energy and them kind of something, the yeah, man, Chico is your guy, you know. Yeah, man, yo, I got I got cut in my eye, man. You know it is. I hear in these streets and something happened. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I wore the glasses on Sunday, man. Okay. Like yeah. For real, for real. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got cut in my eye, so you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, there's a lot of trees and a lot of bushes around here, man. And, you know, and I know yeah, you, my, like, you like taking your. I love, love yo. I love outside, dog. Yeah. And I love, and I love, yo. I love you outside. I'm just outside every day. Um, and where I live, there's some some smaller, you know, places, paths to walk and stuff. So one of the one of the tree limb them catch me eye. But yo, trust me, dog. It's a blessing to be able to see this thing pan out the way it did, and really, I think be something that people will talk about for a long time. I hope. Yeah, could definitely. Cause right now we're boiling down to the um, almost finals. One more round right. of the semifinals, and the finals are coming. So as I said, it was Cheeky Dubs versus Base Foundation Roots, and that was crazy right there. I see you right. guys implemented some new rules and some new strategies this week here. Yeah, man. Every round counts. No question round to the finale. Yeah. Um, every round counts, I think, was us just being like, we realized that when we give these guys, when we say, yo, intro round or sound check round is what really the purpose was, yo, them start shoot. Like, they're not waiting. They're not like, yo, let me just play some songs and nope, them shoot. And so we were like, yo, if they start shooting from the start, every song, every round, I for content, every round. Yeah. And because, you know, we wanted people to like keep a scorecard. So we we're like, yo, let's do five rounds so that you can, uh, you can make a, a, a decision off of, uh, off of your scorecard. And so there you have it, man, you know. Um, and yeah, so 45, uh, 45's only round was the new, the new thing, you know, and the, uh, uh, and the no, in, no uh, sound check round. So those are the two things new that we did, yeah. yeah. Definitely, and what made you guys decide to actually put in a 45 round? Because I know with online, especially with the YouTubes and stuff, usually with the 45s, that's where you might have a problem with the um, blocking. Yo, we had problems, man. You know that Facebook kept getting shut down. <laughs> but it's all, it's all right. Yeah. You know, we had 18,000 people watching on Twitch, man. Okay. I just... Yeah, I just want everybody to like, God damn. <laughs> Yo, this is just something that we love. But 18,000 people that I'm sure the majority of them have no clue what was going on watched as well, consistently, didn't drop off. That's a big accomplishment, man. You know, I expect the 2,000 on YouTube and I expect the, 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 the 2,000 on Facebook. I expect that. But a place that the majority of our people aren't even on. Black people aren't even on Twitch like that. Yeah. You know, black music is on Twitch, but it's being DJed by white people. God. You know, so here's a space that black that black music's on, and every week I'm having act, I'm having you know black DJs on there. I'm having, of course, global DJs, but you know, it's crazy that this is definitely like a thing on Twitch. It's it's good. It feels good. Proper, proper. What were you thinking? Give me um two of your highlights this weekend. One for Cheeky. Yo, I need yeah, I need to drop the I need to drop the highlight video. Um, Cheeky would have to be um, well for I'm sorry, base foundation roots would have to be the boxing thing, because my dad was a big time boxing lover, and we okay. used to watch Panamanian boxing. Yeah, like. <laughs> That's the level that my dad was at. It don't matter where the boxers was from or where they were, you know, we're watching it. And because Miami had a Spanish community, Spanish speaking community, um, they showed boxing from Mexico okay. and Panama and we watched it. And Panama is a big place for boxing. I know a lot of people might not realize because they see Mexico, they see America, they see certain places, Colombia, known places. Yo, Panama is just as known. Like, Panama is big, big on gambling. You know what else is huge in Panama, too? Horse racing. Okay. Horse racing is mega huge. And if you go, my dad um, was a horse trainer. Um, and if you were uh, anywhere in Miami and you went to, if you went to Calder or if you went to Gulfstream, the two main racetracks in Miami, 
you would find that most of the guys that were training the horses were from Panama. Got you. Yeah, man. So my dad was one of the only Jamaicans that, um, not one of the only Jamaicans. There was a few Jamaicans actually, but Panamanians really got that on lock. They had the horse thing on lock. So I can only imagine how serious it is back in Panama, horse horse racing and gambling. And uh, yeah, man. And what were we talking about? Um, you boxing. Yeah, man. So that was the highlight. Um, and then um, cheeky dubs. Um. Yo, him playing uh, Apache Indian. Like, yo, get out of here, man. Yo, <laughs> yo people that need to, yo, people that need to say, yeah. And I know it might have gone over a lot of people's heads because that might be like an age, an age thing. Yeah. But yo, man, if you're 35 or up, that was yeah. kind of funny, man. You know, playing yeah. Apache Indian. Buddy, Trump, when I Trump heard dead. it. <laughs> That one there caught me. That one there caught me right off guard. I said, okay. Yeah, man. I know everybody had a few weeks to prepare, but this was this was wild. I said, holy, yeah, where did you even find this man? How do you even know about that man? Yeah, man. Yeah, I see somebody real quick saying that the best jockeys in the world are Panamanian. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. This is a, pa- yo, yo, trust me. When they come on to them kind of things, yo, Panama, yeah. run it. But yeah, man, Apache Indian, man, that was such a funny moment, man. And, uh, you know, just hearing Chuck, man, you know, and I'm just like, yo, man, I know that a lot of people might not get this, but yeah. for him to go and find Apache Indian, voice yeah. Apache Indian. Yeah. Yo, wicked, 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 you know? Wow. Yeah, man. So, and then this week now we have Germany and Israel, which I think I'm going to be scared to read that comment section. <laughs> yo. Yeah. It's it's gonna be fiery because you have two guys that two songs that fire from jump. They don't just nah, warm up. Let me tell you they, something, man. I, I'm not talking about the sounds. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you something. I got one message already. I posted the flyer. Yeah. As a matter of fact, everybody here, go to my Facebook page, Wall Street Fire fan page, yeah. and you'll see the comment. <laughs> and I'm sure she doesn't. You know, because it's, it's text, so you got to, you know, you got to remember, you know, to keep it in context. Yeah. But she goes, Israel has won every single war. Yeah. We're, we're winning this one, too. And I was like, yo, I was like, yo, <laughs> yo, this sound clash, this musical, like, think about it, man. Let's, let's, let's put this in context. Yeah. There's a guy from Israel, a guy from Germany. Mm-hmm. Both of these guys play black people music yeah. <laughs> yeah. on a really high level. Yeah. And people from both of those countries are going to argue with each other yeah. over these two guys yeah. <laughs> playing black people music. Who plays the black people music the better? It's kind of crazy. One from Israel, one from Germany. Germany, yo, and it's kind of crazy. Like, yo, you, you, you don't realize. Like, I didn't, I didn't make this. I didn't choose this. Yeah. This happened, you know. But people, but people are going to bring the historical, you know, country beef into this and it's just like yo this is just an online clash with some guys playing reggae music i don't big really know what dubs in the building i see you brother yeah my cheeky dub big up yo <laughs> i'm like yo i don't really know what all the wars that <laughs> israel is <laughs> like, yo, like we gotta go do some research before it gets like, it gets out of hand like i'm thinking like yo she's talking about tanks yeah people really losing their life. We're talking about music and these guys are going to shake their hands after, you know? So I was just like, <laughs> just that I simple. was just like, yo, you re- you reaching a little bit, but you know what, man, again, I feel like this is going to be another lit, 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 yeah. um, chat. Yeah. Clash chat. And I don't encourage racism. I don't encourage, uh, bigotry. I don't encourage none of that stuff. 
Um, and so I do ask everybody, yo, be mindful, man. Yo, when you get into these situations where two people are playing music, I remember now, they're not playing music from their country. I got to reiterate that. Like, I got to slide that in again. Yeah. It's not like somebody's going, yo, Israeli's music is better than German's music, Germany's music. This is Caribbean music that they're playing. Yeah. Just keep that in mind. When you guys get into the chat that you want to start arguing and saying which country is better, just remember, this is, this is just a Caribbean music competition, guys. Yeah. There's no reason. Whatever emotions you have, don't let a music competition be, you know, what brings out this negative, you know, weird, you know, energy. You know, it's just like, like I said before, man, I saw the comments towards um, Delhi Sultan and uh, Antichiki, and I was like, yo, that's crazy, you know, that people have had this in their heart. And now they get a chance to go online and type it. And you're just like, man, you know, in a way you kind of are glad that they type it because then you get to, then you get to see, you get to see because every now and then somebody that I know will type something crazy, okay. you know, and I'm glad, I'm glad. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. That's good to see, you know? So to everybody out there, just remember, man, it's just a competition for music. And love is love. And at the end of the clash, there will be two sound systems, you know, virtually shaking hands. There will not be, there will not be an actual war happening. There's no actual war here. <laughs> Nothing after the three hours of clash. We go about our business and everybody's we go, but Yo, yo, go to the supermarket, go for a walk. Yo, there's no action. There's no actual war here. This is just a musical competition. So, you know, always keep that in the, in the chest when, you know, the emotions start to rise and you see somebody say something really foolish and you feel like you need to go check them. Just be like, you know, this is just two guys playing Idonia. <laughs> it's not that, you know, I don't need to go. Yeah, I don't need to go off. I don't need to go, I don't need to, it's just, you know, they're just having a good time. It's just people having a good time and people are enjoying it. And that's it, you know? So that's it. You know, we don't want nobody to go overboard and start saying one bag of things. Right? No need keep for say. You know, keep, keep it simple, it keep it fun. Keep it moving, yeah. Man. And remember, most importantly, if you really love sound clash music and you love dance and you love reggae music, let's all try to remain as a community because that's the biggest point, right, is the reason why hip-hop, the reason why EDM has been able to get so much sponsorship, so much investment, is because they act like a community. They act like a community. They go up against each, each other, maybe. But internally, the, they don't go into, you know, a place where they, they would fuck the money up. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, I think we've had a lot of MC battles. You know, battling is a part of, of, of black culture. It just is, you know? Um, the only time that we've, we've seen it get really self-destructive was with Tupac and Biggie, you know? And we had magazines like The Vibe and some other publications that also probably regret now pushing that energy. And so I don't want to push that energy. I don't want to put that into my reggae community. I don't want it to be something where somebody's like not remembering that we can make everybody grow if we accept these competitions as just that fun competitiveness. It's not now something like, oh, yo, when that DJ, that one comes to my city, I'm gonna go to the party and boo him and throw something at him. Like, yo. Don't get boxed up for this, yo. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just keep it in your mind. Yo. We, we, can, we can really snatch a lot of opportunities once the world begins to see that the things that we love so much have a value to it 
and should be on the bigger stages and should be, you know, like that's why, you know, I'm not a big fan of Red Bull Clash, even though I did participate in Red Bull Clash, but I can respect Red Bull Clash. You know, I can respect Red Bull Clash. It's a great opportunity and great exposure for a lot of people. A lot of people that might have been that, that might have been their only clash that they've been to. But they know the word clash. They have an understanding that this guy's going to play a song and this guy's going to play a song. And oh, his name was in that song. Oh, wow, that's kind of crazy. It educated a lot of people over the years. I was in the second um, Red Bull clash. And uh, who, else? who else was in that one there? In mind, it was Boy Better Know Who Won. Um, Channel One and uh, uh, Todd Lati's wife. Um, uh, I feel so bad not remembering her name. Um, I can't remember her name, but yeah, Culture Channel Channel One won the first one. Okay. And uh, they came back and defended it the second year. So you know, I watch mm -hmm. I watched I watched a lot of the real reggae fans. Bono. Red Bull and burn out me and burn out boy better know who won because they were like, yo, this is our culture. You're playing other music that's not in our culture and now you're winning and beating our culture. This is fuckery. And you got to kind of just be like, well, that's not really all true because anything that has black music, it always has some competitive level to it. And that's just... For sure. It's just how we roll, you know. <laughs> um, so if it's hip-hop, hip-hop DJs have been battling, not nothing new to them. Um, if it was grime and, um, you know, um, you know whatever other music that they were doing as Boy Better Know, you know, they battle, they have beefs, they do it all. So it was just a fun music competition of which the music was all mixed up and the rounds were fun and um, I, I didn't like losing. I definitely think we got robbed big time. <laughs> um, I'll just put that out there too. But that might be, you know, somebody else might watch it and be like, nah, y'all lost. You know, but I know, I know, I know what went down. And so I know why, um, yo, here's another thing. And that's why I can totally relate to Irie Crew and to Jamaiki. Yeah. Because after our clash, mm -hmm. that's when they changed the um Before the me. rules, yeah, man, yeah, the rules for voting. Yeah. On our clash, they had a a soundometer. Yes. yes yeah, man. Yeah. And they allowed you. You're right. And they allowed you to bring anything in to the venue. Mm -hmm. Right. So. Anybody could win with the loudest horns. And even if they only had, if there was like maybe 15,000 people in the, in the O2 arena. Yeah. If there was 100 people with horns, they were louder than everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, and that's, that's basically what, what went down. You know, Boy Better Know, those guys really had a lot of uh, a local support, but they also had a lot of people with actual, like, noise-making things. And so they just drowned everybody out. And then after that, they never did that again. So, you know, I totally understand um, the learning process. And then they got it better. They got it better. They got it better. And I was a victim of that. And I can appreciate that now more than ever because I see the learning process for myself and how much, you know, you have to really under hope that the sounds understand that the journey is just begun. It's just begun. And, and we're trying and that's, that's exactly what it is, because even if you look right now, I think in the competition, this is going into week four now, because this is a five-week competition. Yeah, man. Mm. And look how quickly we've gotten to week four, boss. Could you believe how quickly, and four, that means to week five, and we're done with the competition. Like, mm -hmm. what's going on here? Yeah, crazy. Now, imagine if all of a sudden you see sound clashes in Panama. Sound crashes in India, independent of anything I'm doing, just guys on their own battling. Like, that's crazy that this could have spawned that. And so I really hope that that's something that if somebody like a Cheeky, like a, a, a Delhi Sultan, can go and continue to promote 
yo, this is something that I think is going to keep growing and get a bigger audience and a bigger crowd. And we just want to keep everybody, again, under the mindset that if we stay as a community, we can, we can battle in, 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 internally, you know? But if we go out into the world and tell people, like, you know, don't fuck with that stuff, man. That stuff is dumb. It's dumb. Then, you know... We're, we're shooting ourselves in the foot. And I see, I see that every now and then. I tell people, like, they're so angry because whoever they were voting for win, lost, yeah. that they go, yo, I fuck with this, I fuck with this. I'm not going to tell people, don't watch the next one. And it's like, why, bro? Yeah. Like, that's not the purpose of this. The purpose is the two DJs go up there, they DJ. The people then vote for what they want to think the end result should be. Anything else... You're doing too much now. You're taking it personal for no reason. Yeah, it's personal now. And it's like, yo, I'm not going to tell everybody, don't watch this. And you're like, yo, that's a lot of energy. <laughs> it's a lot of work to go out there and campaign. Against. To not, yeah, against something. That same yeah. energy could be used to say, yo, you know what I'm saying? I never like the result for this one, but yo, I'm going to see what I'll go on next week. I'm going to watch what I'll go on next week. I was to say, uh, oh, I think. You know, instead, they're like, yo, like I saw one guy, he was like, um, he was like $5 for a pay-per-view finale. Yes. Um, I'm not giving you, I'm, I'm so glad I didn't, I'm so glad I didn't buy my ticket yet yes. because the guy that I wanted to win didn't win. I'll never support this. And I'm <laughs> like, yo, my man, yes. you have just typed. Yes. Five dollars worth of typing. I still got. I, we still, yo, we still got your five dollars off of how much you just typed. Yeah. <laughs> yo, Gary Matalan, big up yourself. Gary Matalan been supporting from day one, man. He's an OG in the game. Now he's an OG in the game. He's definitely one of the one of the people that has promoted dancehall globally and represented dancehall from Jamaica globally so well. That it doesn't matter where in the world you come from. You go to one of Gary Matalon's events and you'll get great dance hall on a great level. So big him up. And like I said before, he's been supporting these sound clashes I've been doing from day one. Big up Island Box 2, original. Danny Kappa Shot, big up yourself. But yeah, man, let me say, it's like one of them something where you're like, yo, you really spend five minutes <laughs> to, to pour all this energy and, and, and yo, you're so angry. Man, I feel like I feel like you just paid for a ticket, my man. Like, I almost want to message him and be like, yo, my man, yo, you just bought it. I, you got it. Here's your ticket. Because you were so upset that you just spent mad time cursing and bantering and swearing that you'll never, ever, 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 ever support these, you know, my clash and stuff like that. Yo, that level of energy is worth $5, bro. Yo, you got to tell people sometimes, yo, you're talking about 5 dollars guys five dollars yes. the money goes to the djs like yo five dollars <laughs> if it's, you are yo to, yo let me say this right now let me say this right now if you are on walsy fire's facebook page yes. and you are making a comment about how much you refuse to pay five dollars i gotta i gotta get you a ticket man i gotta just give you a ticket. <laughs> you know what you ticket. need to do anybody that writes you an essay we're gonna grade the essays <laughs> that's how they're gonna get a free ticket an essay on why you are not gonna spend this five dollars and what you're gonna be giving out some tickets yo if you write five or more sentences Yes. On my Facebook <laughs> page, yeah. you are going to get a ticket because you, my friend, yeah. are doing way too much. Yep. Way too the much. You're doing way too much. Yo, minimum if you're doing way, minimum. you're doing way too much, my man. Like, yo, we're living in a time right now where stuff yeah. is so serious. Stuff is so serious out there. And you want to curse you want to curse about five dollars for the DJ? <laughs> nah, man. Write the essay. Write the essay. A minimum of five hundred words. Leave it on Walshy Fire's fan page, and he'll get back to you. An essay on why you think 
five dollars no. is not good. <laughs> Yo, mind you, let's let's <laughs> also remind them. Let's yeah. also remind them. Eight weeks of free, yeah. wicked yeah. entertainment, massive B. Yeah. Yo, Jazzy T, Pison Dot, Heavy Hammer. You know what I'm saying? Specs. Yo, you've gotten the top yeah. sounds in the yeah. world. For free, yeah. for eight weeks, and the one time we say, "Yo, we're gonna give some money to the winners, man. We're gonna make the winners. We're gonna have a competition, and the winners gonna get some money because, yo, a full time no, yo, these guys aren't working. Yo, we have these competitions. Yo, you guys, just give five dollars to, who, yo, it doesn't matter who's the winner at this point, right? Yo, just jump in for five dollars. The winner gets some money. Yo, boom." And somebody could look at all eight of those weeks of free, amazing entertainment mm -hmm. and just be like, man, I ain't giving these dudes no $5. Yo, I almost <laughs> want to say like, you almost want to say like, I might do like, nah. If I was really petty and hilarious, I'm not that funny. I'm like a little bit funny. I got some jokes. <laughs> but if I was really hilarious, yeah. yo, I would go and screenshot everybody <laughs> who complained about the $5. <laughs> And just have a, just have a, a yo, know, just have a, a medley of like them, like yo, you just swipe, swipe right, swipe right, swipe right, swipe right, and then just tell all of them like yo, these are all the people I'm giving a free ticket to. Yeah, Big and then it'll be Tyrone nothing. in the building. See yeah, my Tyrone, the king. Yo, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yo, I'll just be like yo, here's everybody that complained about the five dollar going to the to the to the winner. I'll put them all together. And I'd be like, yo, these are all the people <laughs> who I'm going to get a ticket for because yeah. they did too much. They did too much and they earned it. Their, tears, their tears earned those tickets. <laughs> I got a better one for you. We're going to start a GoFundMe for everybody complaining. So everybody that writes a 500-word essay, <laughs> put it on your fan page. Then we're going to start a GoFundMe. So then they still, somebody is going to pay their ticket, but we're going to pick ticket. all the winners from the people that write the 500 word essay, why they don't want to spend 500, why they don't want to spend $5 on the clash, and we'll yeah, choose man. the winner. Fair enough. And I think, and I right think, there. Got it. Ew, and I think every one of them, I also want them to be on my next show. So I'm going to give them like a Zoom or some kind of thing, and we want to talk to them. We want to talk to them. We want to bring them on the show. Yeah. And I want them to tell. 20,000 people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man, it's going to be a good clash, man. It's going to be a good yeah. clash, bro. So that's going to be, okay, so you just extend the Miss Royal one, Miss Royal six. one, big up. Huh? That's going to be week six. So you're actually adding a new clash. This clash is called Complainer Clash. All right? The quarantine, <laughs> quarantine clash edition. Of it's, not it's not that many. It's not that many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not that many, but we'll have a, we're gonna have a, a moment. Where I'm just like, yo, I'm just gonna message them and be like, yo, would you like to be on the show? I think a lot of people would like to hear you say this live, because you know what you realize, man, and this is something that anybody else out there that's ever lived a life outside the house is you realize, yo, typing on a board or in a group chat is so much more easy than actually talking to someone and saying exactly what you wanted to say. Big up, I Scully, wish. I see you around there. Yo, I, I wish. Yeah. So I totally, wish. totally off that one actual while she... The other mm. day I heard a sound complaint. It's saying something like, stay in their lane to certain promoters or certain people that's doing sound clashes outside of, I guess, the quote-unquote normal promoters or people that will put together mm. something like that. Plus, we see Swiss Beats and Timberland. They're also doing verses coming up right now. And they're saying they want to bring it to Jamaica. What's your thought on somebody telling somebody to stay in their lane outside of, quote, unquote, the normal people that would do a clash? What's I almost want to say, first of all, you, you got to call the name of the person. You got to say the name of who said that. Because, because someone, has the accept, someone has to accept responsibility for saying that. So if you're not going to say the name of who said that, then I'm not going to answer the question. Because I might not, I also don't think I'll get the perspective of why they would say that. 
And I think that that's a question that they should be asked directly. You should have them on your show. That's what I just said. Like, yo, as soon as you read that, as yeah. soon as you read that, you need to be like, I got a show, and we'd love to talk to you, my man, because you might be doing too much. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a slightly complicated situation on my side. This person, we were actually supposed to do an interview. This is probably over a year ago. Did an interview yeah. with their partner, or the then partner, and then they blocked mm. me because they thought that I should wait for them. I don't wait. Why should I? I don't have to wait for you. You know what I mean? Yeah, then my they blocked people. Me. So then our relationship is kind of like this right now. So I just got to ask yeah. questions to random people. So like I said, about other yeah, yeah, like I said man, if you're not going to make somebody own it, don't even yeah. bring it up. Because this is my thing, man. And I think the same thing happened with me, uh, with Miami Carnival, where it was like, yo, if you're not going to own it, don't put a, something on a board that's like, we, the Miami Carnival, believe that we should boycott Private Ryan and Walsh Fire. Like, don't do that. Who are you? Who's the person that typed this? Who's the person that okayed it? You know, some people look at, like, Major Hype, and they're like, yo, Major Hype shouldn't be doing clashes. He should be doing comedy. Fuck you. Yeah. Like, yo, not only is he, is he an original sound man, but he's doing excellent clashes. They're hilarious. They're, yo, they're so good. Um, yes. English Fire does it. Um, what name again? Um, Cold Red does it. Uh, Dub for Dub UK does it. Clash Fans Promo with Super Fresh does it. Um, try and think of who else. Chris Diamond. Yeah. Yo, everybody's doing whatever they want to do. Mm -hmm. Who's going to be the person to check them and say, stay in your lane? Who's the person saying, yo, who's the person? No, listen, listen to what I'm about to say. If you say, if you're telling somebody they need to stay in their lane, yeah. that means you going to check them. Yeah. Well, let me check my DMs real quick and see if anybody has told me I need to stay in my lane. Let me see. <laughs> okay. This is, empty. I have, this is how I see things. Em empty. Empty. Okay. Empty, okay. empty, nothing. <laughs> this is how I see things. It's like this. If you're going to say people should stay in your lane, and especially somebody that has platforms that's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 100 times bigger than yours, if they called you on the low, okay, would you still say the same thing? Where they could potentially bring what you've been doing in your lane over to mm -hmm. their lane. Would you be saying the same thing if you got the call? I'm pretty sure. One more time. Know. Say that yeah. say that one more time. Say that one more time. Sorry. Would you be doing the same thing if you got the calls that you're doing what you're doing in your lane and somebody else is doing something in their lane and they gave you the call? Would you be saying that still? Would you say, no, I'm not taking this. You know what? Stay in your lane and hang up. And their platform <laughs> is 100 I times, would never. 100 no, I would times never, bigger than yours. Yeah, I would never tell nobody stay in their lane. But I will say this much. Again, because I don't know who you're talking about, I don't know the context. I don't know the reason, I don't know. And I think that is a question that is best asked to that person. Okay. I'll say this muscle, and I think we'll never have to go through this again. Don't ever bring something to me that okay. somebody else said that you wanna ask me their opinion and I don't know who they are. You wanna ask my opinion on what they said and I don't even know who they are. Because, you know, I see people do that um, all the time. Somebody would be like, yo, I see that people are saying that black people, um, you know, um, are, are, are still, you know, lining up for KFC in Jamaica. Yo, I've driven past the KFC here in Jamaica. The line is long. The line is long. Yo, the line is longer. Yo, the line is longer than the supermarket. But unless I can figure out who said that, then I don't really know why they said that, you know, to, to really be able to give an opinion on why they said that. You know, yes, I can drive past KFC and see that the line is long, but why this? Yo, big up to Wesley Hype, man. West Hype, big up, man. Original family, bad boy. Family, family. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah man. Those guys work real hard. Watch, big up to Prince, too, said, man. You said something to me just now, which, which I respect. 1,000%. And this is G-code. If you're going to bring the argument, make sure you're bringing the full argument. And me, right. on my side too, if I'm going to bring an argument, make sure, again, I'm bringing the full argument and you're willing to say what you're saying. And me being who yeah. I am, if it's out there, I'll say what I'm saying. I know what yeah. I heard. I know who it came from. I heard the whole argument. 
pocket because we're not caught, we're not carrying no news. You know what I mean? Yeah, don't carry no news to me right and ask you know me mean? about the opinion of somebody else's sentences. Yeah. Um, really, I don't, I don't think I'm the person to give my opinion on what somebody else said. I'm not that person. Yeah. Um, I'll give you my opinion on what I said. I'll give you my opinion on, um, on the things that I'm involved with. But, um, you know, whatever that person said, I don't know why. And I don't think I'm the person to give my opinion on what another person said. Big man thing. If your name wasn't called, that shit don't concern you. You know what I mean? Right. Big yeah. Man. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? All right. So let's talk about the thing there. The second part of the question there when they were saying mm. um, with the Swiss Beats and Swiss Beats and Kimberlin, they're looking to probably bring verses to Jamaica. All right. What's your yeah. Opinion? And I think that would be dope. Why not? Like, yo, Jamaica's the hub for the energy, right? Like, there's no bigger place for this kind of energy. So why not, man? Why not make the people live in Jamaica enjoy something like that if it can be brought live and it can be brought with an affordable ticket so that a lot of people can participate? Um, I know Swiss Beats personally, and I know his, his, his intention. And that's another thing, man, is I think a lot of people really support what I do because they know me. And they know my intention is to see this whole thing grow. And my intention is to see promoters, hopefully that when we get back to having parties, they can take what we've done online and make it really happen. And that would be dope for them. Uh, we can create rivalries. We can create stories, you know. Uh, so hopefully that works out for them. So survive, yeah, man. Man, I had, a, yo, let me tell you something, man. From watching your video, learning so much about Soul Survivor, learning more about even Toronto and about that part of Toronto to now being able to speak to Soul Survivor. We spoke on the phone the other day, man, and to maybe even work it, you know, and maybe even working together. That's why we are a community. I support everybody that's putting out some good stuff. I support it. Once you're doing good stuff, like, yo, somebody the other day heard me big up you and they heard me big up Wizology. And then they, 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 they were like, yo, and I was like, yo, when did, when did one person be the only person that can interview everybody? Why can't they all, why can't they all interview people and just, and just give and let, and let us win? We win. We win when you guys interview people. Like, we win. Because we're the ones that might not get a question from you that you ask the question to and vice versa. And so I was like, man, what a weird energy stuff yeah, yeah man. Ricky Chupa like, in the building there too. Ricky Chupa, man. Yo, yeah. Ricky Chupa, I just finished talk to Jack Sauer. Yeah. And Jack Sauer said him go, said, said him go email me some video cassette with you. Um, where him said we need for have for this little thing when me and Chupa did a talk about the other day. Chupa, I'm not going to say what we did a talk about on this. I'm not going to say it. But Chupa, big up yourself. Cause what me and you did a talk about, I've reached out to Jack Sauer. And I'm going to, it's already in motion. It's rolling, rolling, rolling. And shout out to Ricky Chupa, who, I, I don't know how much time we have left before this thing kick off, but okay. shout out to Ricky Chupa, who did something extremely special on uh, LP International's show called, okay. uh, what name again? I think it's called Real Talk. Yes. So Big Up Killer D and Big Up Puma. Yo, he played a bunch of artists yeah. that nobody knew. Okay. And the song them bad. <laughs> that's Yo, the song and them bad. That's, that's super. Yeah, that's super. And so I'm gonna watch it and I say, Yo, this is why this guy is the greatest. Because in play about six songs that nobody knew, but you know, some sound man would have known, and maybe some people in the local community where them come from would have known. Yeah. But the world didn't know those songs. Yeah. And Chupa, I played a the song, them. Him, him now I played a the song, them with no whole heap of hype in them. Just I played a the song, them. And I was just like, yo, this is why this is a general in this. I, I love, now me, I research the artist. Because, you know, so me, not, me do song. So now I'm researching the artist, like, yo, me need to do some song with these people. You know what I'm saying? Because this is just awesome music that they put out. So shout out, Ricky Chupa. Big up yourself. Yeah. Big him up. No, definitely. You see, this is why I love having a conversation with you because a conversation usually starts here and then it just goes all over the place because it's just mm. music and entertainment and it's yeah, always man. Really like always a vibe. You know what I mean? Again, yeah, man. And what's, 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 what
Westside said the right, the right thing. Yo, we are really networking like never before because of this quarantine. And so I could have yeah. watched a video now, come have time to watch a video, and then I could have reached out to the man in the video, and then we could link. And the network has grown, and people have reached out to me, and I'm so glad. So many sounds have reached out to me that I would have never maybe even talked to because for some reason we just wouldn't have talked. So, again, big ups to everybody out there. You, don't guys, you guys don't understand. One of the things, and I'm talking fast now because I know this thing might cut off soon. But... <laughs> um, yeah. I read I read somewhere and I know Wes Wes can agree with this. Um yeah. I read somewhere uh, never underestimate never underestimate people's ability to see your vision. Yeah. And to anyone out there that's doing anything that might make other people feel awkward or might get negative comments or might be dissed by people, whether you're doing a clash on your or your Instagram live, whether you want to get into comedy, whether you're finding artists that nobody knows and you're making, you're doing, you're getting dubs from them and making music from them and you know that it's not going to be the popular thing to do. Yo, never underestimate people's ability to see your vision. Just do it. Because trust me, trust me, if people, if, if it's as good as you and your heart say it is, yo, people are going to agree with you. And good stuff always finds good people. Good music finds good people. Good comedy finds good people. Good song. Whatever it is, once it's good, good people find it. And that's just how it works. The universe just worked that way. So you can go get your marketing budget. You can go get your strategy team. Yo, nothing is better than knowing that the place you're coming from, the intention is good. Everybody else out there that's good is going to find it. Facts. You say you should write a motivational book, you know what I mean? Because especially where you're coming from, you're coming from absolutely nothing. You know what I mean? To hear where you're yeah, coming So somebody said you should write a motivational book. Ah, oh, <laughs> no, there's too many books like that out there. But I do believe I should write a book one day. I'd love to write a book on Sound Clash. I'd yeah. love to write a book about the culture. I'd love to write a book about that, you know what I'm saying? Big up, the, the crocodile in the building, dynamic it, in the building. And dynamic I mean, original yo dynamic just sent me something the other day he's about to yo he's about to change the game he's about to up the whole game yo ask, let let's get some you. questions real quick before, <laughs> let me before tell you something quick. i got yeah. a sick, sick 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 interview with dynamic coming out just now we recorded about a week or two ago it's coming Jeez. out just sick 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 so big up the cracker that internet, coming out internet the lockdown Internet <laughs> lockdown. Yo, anybody with some questions, man, it's my favorite part because it's like the real yeah. part. Send in some Yo. questions right here for Mr. Wall Street Fire. He'll be answering here quickly. You know what I mean? Dynamic, I see you. We're laughing, but yeah, man, it's crazy. It's sick. Yo, Dynamic is going to change the game. It's going to be Africa to the world in just three, <laughs> two, <laughs> one. <laughs> Yo, everybody, if you guys love what. If you guys want to okay. support the Sound Clash, go please to soundclash.com and buy your ticket. Everybody that wants to support the Sound Clash and hasn't bought their ticket yet, go to soundclash.com. Please, the, the money goes to the DJs. It's a great way to show that you love the eight weeks of free stuff that we've been doing and that, you know, you understand that the DJs could definitely use some money. So big up. All right. Let's talk to Scully here. Scully Mellow Vibes. He's a promoter in Canada also. He does a lot of the sound clashes over here. GTA Mad. Cup and all those stuff there now. He's asking, we would like to know the reason why more Canadian songs are not in your clash. Yo, you asked me this, I think, already, man. Uh, and what, I did. And, and, I did. and do, you, do you remember my answer? I'll say it again, just in case, but do you remember my answer? Um, we spoke about three weeks. So we spoke about it about a month ago. I can't remember yeah. that. Yeah, I'll I say it again, man. You asked, that. you asked me that question yeah. a couple of weeks ago, and the yeah. question, the answer was, <laughs> yo, you might remember. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo, the answer yeah. is, as it yeah. will be, Yeah, mellow, big up. You got to talk to Canada Sounds, man. Yeah. You <laughs> got to talk to Canada Sound. Yes, this was the answer. Yes, yeah. And bigger profit. Yeah, profit is going through it right now. Profit, <laughs> no. Profit was like, yo, <laughs> these guys, these guys don't want to do it. They just don't want to do it. So, um, big up to Outcast. I saw them do something the other day. Outcast was actually one of the only sounds that um was like, yeah, man, we're ready. But here's the thing, right? Is what we're doing is. <clears throat> something that's so far-fetched 
just six weeks ago. Yeah. That now it's a little bit more normalized. So when I reached out to everybody six weeks ago, I got blanked by a lot of sounds. Yeah. A lot of Canadian sounds are in that lot of sounds. Yeah. Now, maybe they'll be down for it. So we can always circle and see what's up. But at that time, it was just so weird. It was so different that not everybody was with it. And a lot of cats was like, yo, this is foolishness. I'm not doing that. I'm not going that's, online to clap. That's fair enough because it circles right back to what you were just saying where not everybody ha is, they have the vision. They can't see what's in your mind and what you're trying to bring them to. Now that it's like practice fruition, now you say, okay, circle back. Are you ready now? No, 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 I'm not ready. Okay, cool. No problem. Or, yeah, I'm right. ready. Now they see the motion. So then now you can really get down to the nitty gritty. You know right. I mean? Now we can move forward. So big up to everybody who, I don't hold no grudges. Nobody that ever said no to me never said it in a disrespectful way. I have great relationships with all of those guys and enough of them just didn't understand what was happening also at that mm -hmm. time you had to have a level of tech that enough of them was like yo i don't have this ira get or i don't have so that was also a big reason they were slow not just canada but a lot of sounds were very slow to going out and getting what they needed to be able to play with clear audio online and so a lot of those humps a lot of those hurdles are now you know are jumped over and so everybody can can participate and also, love enough you can just go ahead and bridge in yard and things. So, yeah, man. Yeah, I hear you. Okay, you know what? Since we're talking to Wes, he has a good question here for you. What's your favorite song you ever produced, executive produce, or been involved with bringing to fruition? Toast. No question, bro. No question, man. That was a great journey. That was a magical journey, bro. And, and the way it ended with the Grammy was just, uh, it was just a great ending to a fucking awesome journey, man. From... Yo, from, from, yo, you see, this, you see this kitchen table right here? That's where me and Coffee used to sit down every week, two, three times a week, and, and just reason and talk about music and talk about what she wanted. And yo, we used to make so much music at that table right there. Me and Coffee made so much music. Toast was voiced up the street at Red Hills, on Red Hills Road. But the concept and everything, the writing of the song right there. So definitely no question. Biggest, 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 biggest deal. Yeah, man. Big up to Izzy Beats, man. Wow, yeah, man. Izzy, right now, Izzy, he's producing that different sound right now, if you understand what I mean. That real, that real different sound. Izzy's definitely doing it. Cause he did all of the stuff for Taurus Riley's Blem EP. Mm -hmm. Yo, yeah, which was a wicked EP. People, go check it. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know, and we got much more music coming together, man. Me and, me and Izzy are like a team. And yeah, man, just a wicked guy. Great guy. Again, great people make, yo, this is my quote. Great people make good music. Good music finds good people. Like, yeah. it's just that simple. Good people make good music, and good music finds good people. Done. I got, I got a good one here for you. We got a couple of minutes this one here, somebody's asking, can we have a, what's a sound clash infographic for Twitch people? For the Twitch peeps. What's an infographic? No, that if, they can, if they can have a info, it's almost, it seems like, almost like a slideshow for exactly what sound clash is, so they know what to expect during their journey of watching the competition while watching it on Twitch. They said for Twitch. Yo, may I tell you right now, man, I, understand that. I don't understand that question, bro. I don't get it. <laughs> One more time. Uh, I think you're using tech words, and I'm just like, ah. <laughs> One more time with that question, man. Please. Again, you know what, Walsh? I always forget who I'm speaking Me, I'm not a tech man. Yeah, man, me is not the tech guy. I'm the creative. I can't, yes, I can't. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know what I'm. Yeah, I, I, I don't think. Yeah, but Do I, it, say it one more time and let me see if I get it. One more time. Okay, they basically want a a, a flow chart. Oh, explaining what sound clash yes. is. Yes. Well, I think that that's that's better said with the people in the chat. Now, I understand, especially on Twitch, because Twitch has a majority of people that are new to sound clash. Guys, don't don't um. Don't 
be afraid to engage. And I know they're not. I'm sure that they're, they're explaining to them. I see sometimes people say, yo, in Twitch, you're saying something like, why are they talking so much? Yeah. Yo, just, <laughs> yo, just explain it to them. It's, yo, it's just like right now for Sound Clash, to my people, to my ministry out there, we are missionaries right now. And we have to tell the people the gospel of people dead via music. And so we have to make sure that we're very hands-on. So I encourage, I implore people to, if somebody says, yo, they're talking too much, to just directly address them and say, that's a part of South Clash. That's what they have to do and explain it to them. For me and for the community, we would appreciate that. For me to just leave like, yo, there's no way, where, where could I put that? South Clash has so much to say as into what is sound clash. It's not really like a one, a one sentence or a one liner, even though I think me and you talked about putting together something like that. It was me and somebody. I really like what Rootsman said. I think Rootsman did a great job with the uh, rhythm. Yeah, was it rhythm? Yeah, tune, speech, and rhythm. Yeah. Um, you know, and I've been, I've been meds in that for a while because I think if hip hop has pillars, um, that sound, sound clash culture should have some pillars as well. But again, yeah, I don't really want to be the person that defines Sound Clash. I want you guys to go and define Sound Clash and to be actively telling people why, you know, they, they might not understand it and stuff like that. Yeah. That's true. Well, shoot. well, you know what? We probably... Prince, have yo, hold on. Ice Prince Zamani, big artist in the building. I've done lots of okay. songs with Ice Prince Zamani. No, no, how, much but... time, how much time we got? We got about three, two and a half minutes. Yeah, man, Ice Prince Zamani, man. Me and Ice Prince Zamani just dropped a new song called Unction. People, okay. U-N-C-T-I-O-N. U-N-C-T-I-O-N. Unction. Go check out the song. Big up yourself, Ice Prince Zamani, the real boss. What? DJ what Whitecliff what? versus Khaled versus Whitecliff. That would be the celebrity clash of the century. Boom. All right, I'm just going to these questions real quick. Um, <laughs> big up Phoenix. I see you, brother. Yeah, man. Phoenix, big up, man. Ah, um, oh, man. All right, I'm looking at these questions. You see anything else, bro? Dubs, yeah, man. Dubs, dubs, dubs. Dubs. Yeah, man. Let's talk about your song. Ice up, man. Yeah, my unction. Guys, people go check it out, man. It's a wicked song. Afro beats meets the Caribbean vibe. Once again, plenty of dance videos. It just got put on Chops Daily, which is a very popular site. So thank, um, <clears throat> big up to everybody that's been supporting the song. But this is a very, 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 very dope song. And I really appreciate everybody out there, man. Big, big, big song called Unction. Would I work with Leela? Of course, man. Big artist. You guys, please support her new album that just dropped. I do think she's going to get a Grammy nomination. I do believe that she's going to be somebody that's going to be a problem in the near, near, near future as far as, like, you know, represented. She's going to be a big, big, big. What's that next after the really current good. clashes? Um, I'm not even thinking that far. I'm just trying to get through this clash competition. So to the person that asked, Dashai, what's next after the current clashes? Trust me, brother. Just, just let me get through the clashes, you know. So just support the clashes, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, we'll yeah. we'll figure it out after that. We'll definitely do more clash competitions though, because yeah. I'm getting one minute left. Yeah, man, I'm getting hit up by so many, so many, so many sounds, and I think I need to figure out how to bracket it so that you have real young sounds, and then you have like maybe medium sized sounds, and then you have like legends, you know. But anyways, that's the plan, man. Is to keep going forward, and so we just oh, stay focused yeah. to the task. Much respect, everybody. Big, big, big things this Sunday. Follow soundclash.com. Love and love and love and Yo, muscle, big up yourself every single time, man. Unity sound, big up. And yo, everybody out there that has been supporting since day one. I miss the world and everybody. I love you guys so much. So big up. Rastafari rule. Selassie, big up. Say yo, muscle, we'll link again, my brother. Well, see, it's always a vibe. Thank you so very much. So everybody, follow soundclash.com. You'll see everything coming up for this weekend's Quarantine Clash semifinals competition before we get to the finals next week. Let's see you then. While she, we're out. One love. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusichut.com.